How's it going guys? I am super excited because today is day one of turning this Toyota Sequoia into a camper. So for the past five months, I have been looking for a vehicle that I can completely gut out and build a bed, um, some drawers, storage for all my camera gear, and basically go travel. And it's been super hard right now because with COVID, vehicle prices are kind of crazy. Um, but just last night, I finally pulled the trigger on this Toyota Sequoia. Uh, I feel pretty confident that this is something that I can build out and that is going to be reliable and be able to take me off-road to the places I want to go. So with that being said, uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to get rid of these back seats. Um, I went ahead and took one out, so let's go ahead and pull the second one out. If you're wondering how these back seats, these are the third row seats, come out, um, it's kind of nice, there are no bolts or anything. You just simply flip this guy forwards and then use this black lever and just flip it forwards. Um, and then basically pull this red lever and the seats should come out. It takes a little bit of force, um, but it's as simple as that. So it's important to mention as well, um, when you pull this black lever to flip the seats up, don't push them all the way forward because they'll lock um, and then you can't pull this seat out. So again, you just pull this lever just up a little bit. Don't let it go forward and lock. Um, and then from there, use the red lever and it's a little tricky. a little bit of force but we got it okay so as you can see we just removed the third row seats um, this seat on the right was kind of a pain it's like it got stuck a little bit but um, just pull hard and kind of wiggle it around and they do eventually come out um, there is so much room in here if I climb in the back I'm pretty sure I can fully stretch out. Yeah, so already, even without removing these second seats, I can stretch out to the back. It's super roomy in here. I am about 5'11", 5'10", 5'11", for anyone wondering. Um, I'd say you could probably sleep in here if you're about six feet without removing these second row seats. Um, and then I did measure earlier. If you take those seats out, there's about seven feet of room. So most people could could sleep in the back of this pretty easily. I might try and take these off at some point soon too. These are just, I think they're called the running boards. Um, I know personally, I'm just not a huge fan of them. Um, I like the look of them with these removed. So. I might try to do that later today as well. I decided to do it. Um, we are going to pull off these running boards. Um, I just checked and it's a 12 millimeter bolt. So we got that. Um, got this and then I think we need an extension um, to get up to the bolts. There appears to be four bolts on each side. so should go pretty quick. On the running boards, there are four of these kind of like L-shaped brackets. Um, and then it's super dark, but right up, right up in there um, is the 12 millimeter bolt. Make sure you're going left. <laughs> it looks like I actually got it wrong. Um, there appear to be two bolts on each of these L brackets. Um, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see this. Right there, there are two bolts that need to come off. First one. There we go. 
second bolt is out. Two more to go. Just got all of the bolts off. Um, now I just need to figure out how this thing comes off. That makes a huge difference. Just looks like it has so much more clearance now. This is other side for comparison. That versus this. Um, I'm just going to put all the bolts back on. That way I don't lose them. Um, and if I ever want to put this back on, uh, it would be super easy. This side is done. Let's do the other one. Here is the before, and it's the same thing. There are just four of these L brackets. We go. The bolts are all back on, and this is the final result. Looks pretty good. Um, so that's about it for today. Um, thank you for watching, and stay tuned as we continue to build the Sequoia into a livable camper.